Hello, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to provide you with a Word document sample that will guide you on how to write the research questions and the research hypotheses based on the research variables and how you can uh, put that in a, a table so that it can clearly show the research questions with research variables along with the corresponding statistical tests in a nice way. So let's get started. So this is the uh, template that I'm willing to share with you. It contains some explanation, but you can adapt it to your study. So it contains the research uh, variables, the research hypotheses, and the research questions. And this is the table I told you about. So let's start with the research uh, variables. So as you know, uh, every study aims to test the or the relationship or differences between different variables so we have a variable is everything like person thing phenomenon test score that you aim to to measure okay so this is what a variable means it varies according to different uh, uh, others let's say other variables in this regard we have independent variables they mostly include sociodemographic variables of region, for instance, where the respondents live, for instance, gender, male, female, etc. Prefer not to say if any. Age, we have different age groups, young people, old people, mid-age people, whatever. Then we have education, we have income in different currencies, etc. etc. So these are called independent variables. So they are independent. Uh, they, they are used to, to, to see whether or not there are any statistically significant, for instance, differences between different regions. And the dependent variable, for instance, which, which depend on uh, the, the, so the independent variables, depend on the independent variables. So they include the main variables of the study, like, for example, achievement, map use, temperature, like whether or not there is any difference between region, for instance, and temperature or achievement or even map use. Okay, so other variables that you may need to be aware of include control variables. So they are used to, to, to control, especially if you are using uh, an experimental design when, in which you have the experimental group and the control group that is used just for the sake of comparison. Then we have mediator or called also intervening variables which intervene uh, between the independent and dependent variables. The same uh, is true of moderator variables that may influence the impact uh, of the independent variable on dependent variable like uh, region and map use. We include knowledge uh, of, uh, for example, SIG, for instance, or maps. So that knowledge of map, more maps can intervene in this relationship and can either reduce or increase the impact. Then we have um, qualitative variables. These are called nominal uh, variables, dichotomous var variables, or binary variables like gender, uh, etc. And then we have uh, another thing. We have uh, the, the, okay for the qualitative variables. So they are qualitative. We have nominal and ordinal variables mostly, and quantitative variables include ordinal. Uh, not ordinal, but interval or ratio variables like discrete variables or continuous variables. We have composite variables like when you compute the mean score of scale, etc. So it becomes a composite score. Then we have confounding variables and extraneous variables like these are variables that may intervene in the relationship uh, of your st of the, the the independent and dependent variables, uh, but you don't know that, so you should be aware of it. Like parental involvement with regard to school achievement, uh, for example, past uh, schooling experience. So all these uh, extraneous variables may change the achievement of different students within the same class. Okay, so these are uh, extraneous variables. Now let's move to the other uh, aspect of uh, this uh, template, which is about research hypothesis. So as you know, a hypothesis is a tentative statement or, or an expectation on, uh, or prediction or imagination based on evidence or existing knowledge with regard to the relationship between the dependent and the independent variables. So the, let's say we can say that the current study aims to test the following hypothesis, but mostly there are different types but mostly uh, the most frequently used statistical hypotheses include the null and alternative hypothesis. So 
let's start with it. So the, the, the null hypothesis simply says that there is no statistically significant difference, relationship, impact of what the, the independent variable and the dependent variable among set of people within certain uh, certain theory, okay? And for the alternative hypothesis, simply it says that there is a statistically significant difference or relationship or impact, etc. So these are like the main differences between the null and the alternative hypothesis. The other types of hypothesis, they include, for instance, for, for the other types, they include simple hypothesis, like we have two variables, like anxiety leads to heart pounding, for instance, compound hypothesis in which we have two variables on, one, on the one hand and two variables on the other hand, like anxiety and stress lead to burnout and disturbed performance. We have direction hypothesis in which the, the direction is explicit and says that there is positive relationship or this negative relationship between, for instance, anxiety and school achievement. We have non-directional hypothesis, which is uh, the reverse of the directional hypothesis, or the opposite rather, in the sense that there is just a relationship, we don't know its direction. And we have causal hypothesis that's, that is about cause and consequence relationship, like poor performance is caused by uh, poor preparation. And mostly here we use regression tests, like so regression is used for prediction and for cause-effect relationship or the impact of the predictive variable on the outcome variable. So even the names of the independent and dependent variables change to uh, predictor and outcome variable. Then we have associative hypothesis, like here we use it especially among qualitative variables, like there is an association between gender. Also associ associative is not like correlational anyways, because uh, association test is used mostly or tested mainly by chi-square and it tests whether or not there is any uh, statistically significant association, for example, between two uh, qualitative variables like gender, male, female, and attention to details, yes, no, for instance, okay? And these variables should be incorporated in, in your questionnaire, okay? Like this one, there's no statistically significant, significant difference between gender, for instance, and anxiety. So if we just go back to the questionnaire, so I should, should look at it like this, especially background information, they constitute for the questionnaire, they constitute the the independent variables like gender like age like current level like university so these are all independent variables and for example anxiety items on in on form of likert scale they can be dependent variables okay so they change or they depend on the these independent variables or for instance whether or not there are any differences between male and female respondents with regard to uh for example this statement i don't worry about making mistakes in language class so, or is there a difference or similarity or I don't know. So we can test this or we can, uh, you, by using, for instance, independent sample C test or man with U test or whatever test uh, you want. Uh, so we have, again, age, we have current level, we have university. So you can have as many variables as you want. So and these are called independent variables. And these are called dependent variables. Okay, the different items that you are interested in. Okay, so this is like uh, an example. So let's go back to to this uh, template. So we have again. Uh, I stopped at uh, null and non-sortative hypothesis, and I give you some concrete examples. Then we have research questions. So research questions are, um, say, derived from research hypothesis. So you can convert research hypotheses into research questions. Uh, like what are the profiles of the respondents who suffer, for example, from anxiety or any type of thing that you are investigating. So here we just describe them, like we provide descriptive statistics like frequencies, percentages, means, scores, standard deviation, etc. Then we have, are there any differences or relationships among the social demographic variables and the dependent variables? So I want to say here the independent variables rather, because not always social demographic variables are independent variables. And then uh, we can use here some inferential statistical tests like t-test, like ANOVA, like INCOVA, like regression, uh, moderation, mediation, whatever you want, exploratory factor analysis, anything that you want. Then we have a research this table that I uh, that I that I told you about. So it includes uh, three uh, let's say columns. We have uh, research questions, we have research variables, and we have statistical tests like RQ1. So research question number one, 
So here we have socio-demographic variables like region, age, gender, education, income, and employer. For instance, here we or employment status. Sorry. So we want to test the like we would just want to spotlight on on the descriptive like the sample to see who how many are male respondents, how many are female respondents, how many for instance are educated respondents etc etc then we can test this using descriptive statistics like the mean score like the standard deviation like frequencies and uh, percentages then we have rq number two are there any differences or relationships among socio-demographic variables for example we put a uh, social uh, iv that stands for independent variables and include them region for instance and weather for instance de as dependent variable and we we can test this using anova like we have different regions we have the south the north the east, the west, etc., and we can use analysis of variance to see whether or not there is any statistically significant difference between different regions and the weather or the climate. Or the south here, for example, tends to be hotter than uh, or than the north. So here, the, the or than the east or the west. So here, the, there is a statistically significant, for example, difference in 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 region on the one hand and weather. So you can add another column, for example, in which you put the ultimate results. Once you test all these uh, variables using the appropriate statistical tests, so that you can uh, write the appropriate results into one table or maybe called hypothesis testing table, in which you put the number of the hypothesis the or the research question and you put the, the test used and the result uh, so the hypothesis can be either rejected or we fail to reject it we don't say accepted although i saw some researchers put in accepted we don't accept we fail to reject or we reject um these are like the technical terms that are used in statistics so yeah so if you have questions or remarks uh, you can post them below or you can contact me by one of my social media um I answer questions there as much as I can, inquiries with pictures, with I don't know what. So it's very straightforward for me to use, for example, WhatsApp to communicate because it's quicker than, for instance, uh, commenting or sending, for example, messages via emails, etc. So uh, researchers can just uh, screenshot the, 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 the problem that maybe they may be facing and you can send it to me via WhatsApp. And I can tell you like the solution depending on my experience. So I can just make it easier for you a little bit to see exactly what you can do with that. And yeah, so thank you for following these videos and thank you all for the encouragements and everything. Really appreciate it and see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.